cards coming out. Let's take them and see what the message is for you. We'll also be posting tarot cards after. If you'd like to book a private reading, all the info is below. So let's see what's going on here. As you're protect yourself. Interesting. I'm going to read on that one. The next one is move, enjoy, clear hearing, and then we have orange, nurture yourself. So let's just check out the first one. This is a new deck, um, a gift from a viewer. Thank you so much. You know who you are. She definitely knows who she is. Um, so as you protect yourself, purify the aura and strengthen your connection to divine, leading you to discover your truth and empowering you to make an important life choice. That's interesting. So there may be something that you have to choose that's coming up. Um, it, it really is interesting, actually, because this is about enjoy clear hearing. You may need to really connect to your higher self or in general, keep your ears open. Maybe there's someone you have to talk to. Obviously, I want to pull a love message, but this could be about anything at this point. And then we have nurture yourself. So you may actually, you know what I'm getting here? It's like you have a message that needs to come in. It's for your highest good. Um, it's going to bring some sort of clarity to a situation. And you really have to uh, be at your highest level to hear this message or to get the depths of this message. So you may want to actually clear your energy, calm your mind, because that is the best way to receive a message, right? So that's interesting. I am getting that this may have to do with a twin flame, okay? I'm just, or a very high level connection, okay? Just because the numbers I'm seeing here. And at the bottom, we do have the full card, okay? But look at this. So there's going to be someone that you think is your twin or that you just think is a very high-powered connection. I'm not saying it isn't yet, but in this full card, in the deck I chose to use for these readings, um, notice there's a snake about to bite this person. So, and the Queen of Swords being at the bottom here, <laughs> your energy, right, Libra? Um, but this may be telling you to really pay attention to something, okay? So let's look into this message. Let's see what's coming up for you. If you want to book a reading, not sure if I said this already, but my info is below, okay? So we have the page of Pentacles coming out with the five of wands. So this is what I'm getting, okay? There's someone from your past. Maybe you've been with them for a long time. I love that I'm just noticing this clock literally just has zeros on it. Oh, boy. Well, for some of you Libras, um, this could be someone that was a waste of time, to be honest, or that type of an energy, or you felt was a waste of time. Let's not get too ahead of us ourselves. It's only three minutes and 13 seconds in. But what I do get with the five of wands here is like, this is someone you had a lot of battling with. This is someone you, that was difficult. Okay. And this is also someone you probably put a bit on a pedestal at one point. Um, you really saw the best in this person. You really have a very strong connection with this person as well as what I'm getting, right? This is really weird, but I'm noticing on this card specifically, I know they all have this, well, they don't all have the signature um, LZ, but a lot of the cards do have LZ on them. But this one specifically has the number minus 14. It's just, I just get this vibe with the protect yourself that you really had a wish for this person. And the way that these cards are sticking out here, and what is this? Gosh. Yeah, another six energy. You really had a lot of love for this person, but I'm just seeing, and I just want to show you the way the cards are sticking up there. The Queen of Pentacles and the Star card, you see that there? Um, with this Page of Pentacles, I feel like you and this person were going around in a loop that seemed to be going nowhere because you just really want this to work out. I'm not saying it won't. Um, you may want to look into the numbers three, six, and nine and see what message comes out for you, Libra. But what I am saying is there is a message trying to come in here for you. So we'll see what's coming out with that. We'll see, right? 
Um, I think that's more of a description. You may be hesitant, wondering, can this happen? Can this work? I think threes are also an important number for some reason. So let's see what's coming up here with the mold energy. And, you know, it is purple as well. And I look at that as like your higher chakra is like really speaking to you, right? And so we have the seven of cups. You're really not hearing something is what I get. Okay, for some of you guys, and you'll know if it's you or not, this is actually a karmic relationship, like really heavy on the karmic side. I'm not saying it can't be a twin flame or a soulmate, but it's really heavy because I'm just, you know how I read my cards, guys. Okay, I'm going to show you what this is here. The hang woman. Okay, and what's at the bottom there is, I don't know if you notice that, the justice card. Whatever this was, this was definitely um, meant to happen in your life. But this is about some sort of a lesson. You really need to get clear here for yourself. And I think this is only something you can do because it literally says nurture yourself. It's because you have to hear the message that's trying to come in for you. Um, you're very generous with your love is what I get here. You don't want to see the self-sabotaging behavior in people or maybe just this specific person. You still nurture your this situation that you're being asked to protect yourself and your energy from. And I think the way you still nurture the situation is at least just by giving it your energy. Um, and that keeps you stuck in there, right? So let's see what else. Um, because you do want success. Like you do, you have, you have a very positive outlook at this person. You truly, like Ace of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles here, you truly believe in this. And I'm not saying um, not to, but there's some sort of a message trying to come in. So let's see what else we get here. The Nurture Yourself, we have the King of Pentacles. That's interesting, you know, because that is. And then we have the Hangman coming in the reverse. That is interesting. Because I was going to say the King of Pentacles is all about, you know, stability, nurturing, responsibility. And when it has to do with the orange energy here, like the sacral chakra, um, it's just a beautiful combination. And it's like nurturing yourself, giving to yourself, being stable within yourself releases you from something. I'm going to try and get, you know, one or two more cards about this message. That, what do you really have to get clear here? The Six of Swords. For some of you, it really has to do with the fact that you've let something go. Um, it may also be saying... You know, there is an opportunity here for a new chance, but you have to get clear that you let something go for a reason, okay? Um, I'm getting like, you know, whatever wants to come back in, you need to make sure you kind of do a fact check, is what I'm getting, a fact check. There's a strong Queen of Wands energy continually popping out, and I'm also now seeing the Queen of Cups. So this could be about a third party um, that someone's coming out of by the looks of it and coming to offer you a new beginning. Wow. And it also looks like this person is being honest. So what's this card flipping out here? Well, nothing's coming out. Yeah. Okay, there. Oh, wow. So the tower just came in reverse. So this person is being honest about something that they are released from. Um, I, 
I think someone is released from some sort of a marriage here, the Eight of Swords and then the Seven of Swords that they were hanging on to, Nine of Wands and then the Nine of Swords. I do think someone's released themselves from something. Um, nurturing yourself. This could be you, Libra. You're going to have to apply it how it goes because this could be also saying that this person has nurtured themselves, therefore allowing a message for this person to receive and release themselves. So it really does go apply how 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 it fits. Right? I'm trying to give this to you, but I mean this message could be about your person as well. Look at judgment here and the 10 of swords. There's a karmic situation that's ending. So apply it. I just I see 144. So again, this may be your twin flame. This may be your soulmate. Apply the energy where it fits, but it does look like a message is trying to get through to someone. And um, this is to help protect them. <clears throat> There's been some wasted time. There's been releasing. The tower has fallen, or this is about the releasing once this stable energy comes in. It's really interesting. If you understand this message more clear than I do, or I can relay it, let me know. Okay. And let me know where you're from. Bye for now. Thank you.